What's up, party people? We are back on schedule. And I've only got 24 minutes on this memory card. So we're gonna have to get through this wall pretty quickly, girl, pretty quickly. Plus I gotta pick bro up from school. Here's the dilly before I get into the hall. I have literally been sitting here filming all fucking day long. I did a get ready with me. I did, I filmed this haul already. I was getting ready to, get, to film an empties video. And I was like looking back at the footage and I'm like, oh fuck no. I don't know what the fuck happened to my face. Like my makeup looked so horrible. And I'm not talking about like my eyes or anything. Just my face makeup was literally like crusting off of my skin. My skin has been so fucking dry lately. And I think the reason is because I used this fucking Dr. Brandt Luminizer Primer that I got in a boxy charm. It was so bad. Like my skin looks so fucking gross. I was like, I can't even do this. I'm just gonna have to refilm it before I go get bro. Oh my God. Welcome to fucking YouTube. Welcome back, bitch, right? Okay, so let's just get into it. So if you've never watched a haul of mine, um, I normally like buy my shit and then I use my shit and then I haul it. Like I just, I really just don't see any point in fucking showing people what you bought. Like, hey, look what I bought. Nobody gives a fuck. Like, I don't give a fuck what you bought. All I give a fuck about is what you think of the shit that you bought. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do my hauls like this. That is the premise behind this here haul. So let's just get into it. I'm gonna have to like put everything in one spot. Uh, I don't keep the packaging also. Um, if you're new round here, if you are, welcome. I don't keep the packaging either. Um, we're kind of a hot mess today, y'all. My dog's got to go out, and he's going to have to fucking wait till this video is over. Uh, I already filmed this, like, before, and I'm filming it again, and I hope I don't lose or forget anything. Okay, we just need to get into it, because as I said, I've only got 24 minutes on this here memory coin. So... First things first, I'm gonna start with foundations because I've got a couple of them that I purchased. The first one is my fucking absolute favorite and the foundation I have on today, and it is the Bobbi Brown Skin Longwear Weightless Foundation SPF 15 Full Cover Oil Free Shine Control. This foundation is fucking amazing. This is from Sephora, BT Dubs. It's not from Ulta. I, this is the only thing I got from Sephora, and that's why I titled this video Ulta Haul. Um, this is literally one of my favorite foundations if not the most favorite foundation i've ever used in my life it is so fucking good i don't know about full coverage um what is on the side of my face right there is that seriously like lash glue jesus i told you we was a hot mess today girls didn't i anyways um and my nose is running my allergies are going crazy today but anyways this is so good. The only thing I don't like about it is that it takes a lot to get to that full coverage. I don't know why they call it full coverage. I would put it at like a medium coverage at best. I mean, I literally just put this on and you can see like some acne and stuff peeking through. You can see this little guy right here, but I like that. I have really been into like light natural coverage lately just because I feel like when I use full coverage by the end of the day, a bitch looks like she's 105 years old and I'm not trying to fucks with that. You know what I'm saying? By the end of the day, this up here looking like a pack of hot dogs. Look, you're stubby. You're like, please, mom, please let me out. Just a minute. I can't finish my video. So anyways, um, yeah, the pack of hot dogs is fucking in full effect. It's going crazy and we not liking it. This does not settle into my forehead wrinkles. If you, you guys aren't gonna be able to see that, but it does not settle into my lines. It's just so fucking good. The texture of it feels like an OG liquid foundation, but when you put it on your face, it's almost like sticky to the touch. It feels like a really good primer, like hydrating primer and your concealer looks good on it like everything looks good on it i literally had a different foundation on and i just had to wash my entire face and i'm like i ain't even fucking with that i'm putting this back on because i know this is so good and it looks so good natural like it looks like your skin it's just so good you guys i mean seriously one of the best foundations i've used in a really long fucking time girl if you guys are curious i'm warm sand 2.5 i'll link it below um that is so good. You guys have to either go get a sample of it or just try it flat out. Look, I've got fucking lash glue everywhere. I'm a mess, girl, because I'm in a hurry and I'm getting crazy. Anyways, 
Next up on the foundation tip is this right here, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation. I originally went in to get the CC cream because I have the CC cream in the color fair, but it's just too fucking fair for me. I don't like walking around looking like motherfucking Edward Cullen with my white ass face. You know what I'm saying? So I actually originally went to get light so that way I can mix it with my fair because I just couldn't fucks with the fair anymore because usually I like mix it with other stuff anyways. Um, but I originally went to get light and then I remembered we had gotten this in and I was like, oh, let me check that out. And I just swatched it on my hand, but I just happened to see that they had a uh, fair light shade. So I was like, oh yes, I'm going to get that because that should be way better. So this does match me a lot better. So if you are somebody like me, which I feel like I have a hair stuck in my eyelashes. If you're somebody like me, which I remember the last time I um, mentioned the It Cosmetics CC Cream being too fair for me, a lot of you guys were saying that it was too fair for you too and the light was too dark for you too, because that was a problem too, um, that you were mixing the two. Now they have a fair light and this is essentially the exact same thing. This is a little bit more, um, I feel like it's a little bit more hydrating than the CC Cream. Uh, and it's a lot more coverage than the CC cream, if you can imagine, because CC cream has a hell of a lot of coverage, but this has like even more. I kind of fucked up at first and I like pumped them out as much as I usually do my CC cream and then I put it on. I was like, whoa, bitch, <laughs> take her easy. Okay, next up is the Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Uh, I said fair light, right? I told you guys I was in fair light. I'm pretty sure I did. I made a whole spiel about it. Hello, short-term memory loss. Get with it, Veronica. Anyways, uh, this is an LW2, that is my shade. I like this, I put this on the other day and when I got off of work, I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, what the fuck? I mean, it was literally just like crusting off of my face. I don't know if it's because my skin was so fucking dry or if it was because of this. So I've tried it probably four or five times. I didn't have a problem up until that point. So I would definitely recommend getting it but make sure you're, even though it says healthy and it's supposed to be like brightening and luminous, um, I would definitely put something hydrating under it if you're dry. Wouldn't recommend it for oily bitches, just dry bitches like myself. But it's all right, it's not bad. If you guys want like full reviews on these things and just let me know and I'll do them. Um, but it's a pretty decent foundation, I like it. So basically what I've been doing is just wearing this like on you know, days where I don't want to fucking use my $50 foundation. You know what I'm saying? So, cause I mean, this is like 14 bucks. So it is kind of expensive for a drugstore. Um, anyways, really good though. I like it. I would recommend it moving right along. Next up is concealer. So I got three, well, two concealers and one highlighter. That's like, dude, my camera's like all off. Just ignore me. I'm rusty, okay? Give me a little minute. Give me a little minute. Oh, also, when I just filmed this earlier, totally used like a white backdrop. I mean, I eat my window or my wall. I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. I couldn't take it. I was like, I look like a fucking newscaster. I don't like it. So I thought I would just come up on here, come back with a bang, be like a professional fucking beauty guru and shit, and like have a backdrop and be all dope. And I can't. I just can't, you guys. I'm not that professional. Sorry, Veronica. Anyways, first concealer is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, waterproof, blah, blah, blah. I haven't heard anybody talk about this, so I wanted to snatch it up. I got the color 10 Porcelain. This is not fucking porcelain. This is like literally the color of my skin. It pisses me off. We only have three fucking shades of this at the store. If there's only three shades of this concealer, period, shame on you, Catrice. I really hope there's not, but it's just my skin tone. My skin tone. It's my skin tone. It's just my skin color, so I'm thinking of just like putting it all over my face and using it as a foundation. I don't know. I got it really cheap though, so I'll just keep it. Maybe lighten it with some Kat Von D Whiteout or something. Um, next up, I'm sorry I'm blowing through this, you guys, but like I don't want to put off 
filming anymore. And it just, it, the, the whole day has just been a mess, girl. It's just been a hot fucking mess. So please forgive me. Next concealer I got is the Lorac uh, Perfection Complexion Pen. I didn't even know this was a fucking thing. Like, I didn't know it came out. I didn't know it was like in existence or anything. I don't really follow a rock that hard unless they're coming out with like their Mega Pro palettes, which I fucks with really hard. But as far as like their face products, I don't fucks with. I do have a highlighter that I really like by them, but other than that, I don't fucks with them. So I went past the Lorac and I don't fucks with stick uh, concealer. Thanks, Veronica. Um, I went past the Lorac uh, display and I just happened to see the color of this and I was like, oh, that's like light enough to fucking highlight me. And I put it on my hand and I swatched it and I was like, that actually looks like really good. So I have been using this. Now today I put it on and I did not like it. And I think it was because of that primer. Like it just looked like shit. It was like creasing under my eyes really bad. And I usually don't have a problem with creasing because I don't use like extensive amounts of concealer you know what i mean so i usually don't have a problem with creasing or anything like that but this just looked like shit today i'm not going to recommend it as of now i want to use it a little bit more but up until today when i've been using it i like it so i don't know if it's just that primer i think i just need to use it a couple more times but it's like very luminous and very hydrating and really pretty so if you just want to try it out try it out it's not like a standard stick concealer like the fucking bare minerals bare pro stick concealer that shit is like cement it's not like that at all it's actually like super creamy and like when you blend it in on your hand it looks really pretty and it looks like very smoothing like it would smooth you know like all my 90 year old shit i got going on down there um, and I, as I said, I've liked it up until today, but today was just a fucking hashtag fail girl. So I'm going to try it a couple more times before I recommend it to you guys. Okay. And then the last thing for concealers, I guess, is the LA Girl Pro Conceal, um, highlighter. <laughs> like I thought this was a white concealer and then I got it home and I like put it on my hands and I was like, that's not fucking concealer. That's a fucking highlighter. I guess I should have looked at the package where it says highlighter. I get that. I get that. But when you put it in a package that says Pro Conceal and it's white, I was like, fuck yeah, it's a white concealer. I really like the formula of their concealers. So I thought I'm going to use this to mix with concealers that are too dark for me. Um, like the fucking countries. But it's not a concealer at all. It's a fucking highlighter. So, um... And it's white and silvery as fuck. I don't know if you guys can tell because you can't see like highlighter swatches. And I thought, uh, fuck it. I'm just going to like toss it to the side, whatever. But then I thought, oh no, you know what I'm going to do is put this on first before I put other highlighters on and see if it'll brighten highlighters that are too dark for me, i.e. this motherfucker right here. I was so fucking excited for this to come out. Like, so fucking excited because when I look at Amrazy and I see this on her skin, I'm like, it is so fucking blinding. It's so like wet looking on her skin. That's what I love. That's what I want. And then I bought it and it don't look like that girl. It don't look like that at all. Like it, even in the pan, like if you look at it right here, it looks like it would not be too dark on me, but it just is. It's like, it looks cool on my skin. Like it looks like, you guys aren't gonna see it, I'm sure. No, you're not, cause it's like blending in with my fucking skin. It's not like highlighting on me. It looks really pretty on camera. Like it looks very wet and pretty. And But then when you look at it like IRL, when I look in the mirror, it's like, just looks like a gold splotch. You know what I'm saying? Cause it doesn't really like highlight. <laughs> like I want, like I want something that's lighter than my skin tone. To highlight with you know and this just isn't I don't know if I'm gonna take it back or if I'm gonna try to like stick this underneath of it so that way maybe this will brighten this up I don't know I will let you guys know but I was a little disappointed I wasn't disappointed in the formula though the formula is badass it's a very very nice formula but could come in a little bit softer but it's a good formula okay continuing on with highlighters then I guess I got a lot of highlighters <laughs> just saying because I'm like 
on the constant fucking quest to find a highlighter that is as good as my Makeup Forever Starlet Powder and the number 13 Ivory. That fucking highlighter was like made for me, I feel like. I, I think I'm just gonna fucking just say screw it and buy it because it's, ugh. I've been out of it for so long and for so long I've just tried to find something that is as good as that and I have, I just can't, I can't find anything. So we're just, I'm just gonna buy it again, okay? Maybe we'll do a Sephora haul too on top of this because I still have, um, I want to say like $150 worth of gift cards for Sephora that I haven't got to use because of everything that's going on. And this is like from points and shit that I haven't got to use just from everything that's going on. Um, so if you don't know what's going on and you don't know where I've been and you're new to my channel or anything like that, just go to the last video. Or maybe I'll be like a real YouTuber and put like a card. <laughs> okay, so... This is a cream highlighter because I've been like really fucking with cream highlighters lately. When I swatched this at the store, um, I totally thought it was just cream. I didn't know it was cream to powder. It's so weird. When I swatched it at the store, I was like, oh yes, it's not cream to powder because a lot of highlighters, my nose is just so bad for my fucking allergies. A lot of highlighters that are cream are cream to powder. I don't like cream to powder highlighters because they make your skin look very textury and dry and gross. Um, and I thought this was just cream, but it's cream to powder and I'm so mad. It's a pretty highlighter though. It's like, you know, very natural and pretty looking. If you uh, fucks with the, what is it? Benefit What's Up highlighter stick. Do they fucking even still sell that though? Like, I never heard anybody talk about that for a while. Do they even still fucking sell that? If they don't, this is a dupe for that. It's by Catrice. It's called Stro Strobe to Glow Highlighter Stick. And it's good if you like cream to powder. I just don't. So there's that. Next up on the highlighter tip, I got another Catrice product. Like I told you, did I tell you guys that in this video? I don't know if I told you this in this video or in the 18 videos I fucking filmed before this and my face looked like she. Um, we got all new products at the Ulta that I work at. We got, or not products, brands. We got Model Zone. We got our Makeup Revolution doubled in size. We got Catrice. We got Elf. We got um, Essence. Our Essence doubled in size. We got Milani. Like, we have so many drugstore brands now that I wanted to ask you guys. Do you guys, like, fucks with the like one brand tutorial or whatever or do you guys like that stuff because i was thinking about doing those because we've got so many drugstore brands now like i wouldn't fucks with going out and spending 400 dollars to do a one brand tutorial but i will spend like you know a hundred dollars to do it so let me know let me know in the comments anyways this is the catrice uh cosmetics highlighting powder that's all it's called but it's really good and really natural and it's not like powdery or anything. It's really soft. I, you guys aren't gonna see it over that. Let's go to the arm. Um, I doubt you're gonna see it. It's a, well, you might be able to see a little. It's a really natural highlight. If you are somebody that does not like that really like bing, bing, bing highlight, then you will probably really like this. This is in the color Mary Cherry Blossom. That's weird because it makes me like think of Christmas <laughs> and they just came out. So that's really odd. Anyways, I'm sorry. I keep like itching my face, but allergies though. Um, but anyways, this is a really good highlighter. I wear this um, or I have been wearing it when I do like kind of like no makeup makeup things where you don't want to look like you've got like a streak of highlighter on because you barely have any makeup on. You know what I'm saying? So I've been wearing it with the with. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to go so fast that I'm like cutting myself off. I have been wearing that on that tip is what I try to say. Okay, okay. Okay, next up is another highlighter. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, and it is the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. I'm sorry, my dog is a mess. Um, oh, what's the color? Halo Goodbye. So this I think is a just complete and total dupe for the cover effects um, custom or not the custom color drop the cover effects highlighting drops whatever the fuck they're called this is like a total dupe for that because it, it's oil based just like that one is and it's very like metallic and shimmery and pretty and it's not going to like emphasize texture 
uh, it's a really good girl, and it was only like four bucks. And oddly enough, um, I lost it today. I don't know where it is, but I bought the like correlating powder highlighter to this in the color Blossom Glow. And I was so fucking excited about it. like, yes, a fucking wet and wild highlighter that actually works for my skin tone. And then I got home and realized, damn it, it's too dark. And then when I went to put it away, realized, motherfucker, I already own this. I already had it. I already had it. I was so pissed. I was like, God damn it. Why don't I know these things? So next up and last up for highlight tours is this Soap X highlighter palette by Makeup Revolution. I don't know who this like Soph X person is, probably a YouTuber I'm assuming. Sorry girl, I just don't know you. Hashtag Mariah Carey. <laughs> I'm like Mariah Carey, I don't know her. Anyways, um, so aside from these, okay, so you see these highlighters and how these just kind of look, I don't know, like baked or something in the pan. Those are kind of dry. Um, they work, but they're not the greatest. These three here are so fucking soft. They're so like not powdery. They are like very wet looking. Like they're just so, see how wet looking it looks on my fingers? They're so fucking pretty and nice. Why is nobody talking about this palette? Like those three highlighters in this palette are so fucking good. I don't understand why more people aren't talking about this. Maybe they are and I don't know it, but I have the two lighter colors on right now and they're so fucking pretty. It's like $15 for this palette. It doesn't emphasize texture on your skin. And I mean, the proof is in the pudding, girl, right here. I have um, these two, the two lighter colors right here on. They're so pretty, right? I know, I know. Moving right along, I've only got, um, okay, I've got a few things left. So a couple of lashes that, ah, everything's falling. A couple of lashes I got um, in this haul are these ones here. They're not in there because they are on my eyes right now. I freaking kind of love these lashes. They're like so long. I probably could have trimmed them, but I hate trimming lashes like these. Oh, these are the Eyelor by Jasmine Brown. Also don't know her, sorry kind of not sorry sorry Veronica um this it, it's like collaboration with a youtuber I would assume she's very pretty but I really like these lashes they are literally the exact same lashes as the salon perfect 615s the socialize um vixens the I can't remember which ones the cocoa ones are the only difference is these are a lot longer and a lot wider uh, like I said, I probably could have trimmed them, but because they're short on the outsides and long on the insides, you have to trim from each side and it's just a pain in the ass, girl. So, uh, whoops, so odds in it. Okay, okay. So, um, these are really nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like is that these are like $5 and I can get the 615s, five packs of the 615s for $8 at Walmart. So, I'll probably just buy the 615s rather than these these i might use see these lashes i feel like too because i had them on um you know before i had to go wash my fucking face off and refilm all this all over again um i had them on before and i just did like very casual like you know some orangey colors in the crease with this next palette i'm about to show you and some gold on the eye but i feel like these lashes only suit a really really dramatic makeup look or a barely any makeup look like what I got going on right now in my personal opinion on my face piece you know what I mean like I would only wear these with something super dramatic or nothing at all like I got going on right now um I just feel like they look better that way I actually prefer them like this without a bunch of makeup on with them but I don't know. I don't know. I really like them though. I really like them. They're just so much longer than the 615s. I just like have to get used to them. But again, they're way more expensive. So I ain't done with that. And then another pair of lashes I got are these. I got some fucking Magnano lashes, girl. I know everybody's bitching about them. Everybody's like, how the fuck do you put this on? What do you do? I don't know. I have tried. I sat here for 20 minutes one day trying to get these motherfuckers on and I could not get them on. Do you guys have any tips? I know um, 
Kathleen Lights has a video where I, and I just happen to see it in my feed where it says, this is how I get magnetic lashes to work or some shit like that. Um, so I'm gonna watch that video. I haven't watched it yet, but I'm gonna watch it and see if she's got any tricks. I know a lot of people cut them to get them to kind of like go with the curvature of your eyes. So I may try that. I'm probably gonna watch her video first and see if she puts the strip on all at once or if she cuts them before I cut them. Because I mean, these are 14 fucking dollars. So I don't wanna fuck them up, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't know, I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on them, but so far it ain't working, girl. Maybe I should just get like the little accent or whatever, I don't know. Anyways, moving on. Oh, speaking of lashes, this I actually kept the box too, because I don't know if I mentioned, but I also don't keep the packaging when I do hauls because there's no fucking point in putting it back in the packaging when you're just gonna take the motherfucker right back out. Y'all know what the shit is. It ain't hard to find. Okay, so, um, Eyelore Blend and Care False Eyelash Blending Mascara. This is totally fucking gimmicky. I bought it because I was like, ooh, I've never seen anything like that. I've never seen anything that's specifically tailored to blend your eyelashes with your with your uh, false eyelashes. So I thought, oh, that's super dope. I want that. Um, is it any different than any other mascara? Probably fucking not. <laughs> it has this like little brush. It was only like eight bucks, okay? It's got this like little brush to it. Um, I didn't realize until I fucking film this haul about an hour ago that you're supposed to put this on first then the lashes then this again I didn't put this on first I just used it to blend because you guys if you follow me then you know I don't put mascara on first before I put my lashes on just because I think it looks more natural that way and I think they blend better that way so I will try to put this on first I've used it on its own and it does it's a very natural, 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 natural mascara. It's not like a bam in your face mascara. So that's probably why they market it as a blending with your falsies mascara. Know what I'm saying? I'll keep you guys updated though. Moving right along. We're doing good, girl. We're doing real good. So next thing I got is from Catrice. It's just this, the Ultimate Chrome Collection Eyeshadow Palette. This and the highlighter were on a display at Ulta. That's why I got it. Now Hoyt's up here, BT Dub. So if the camera starts moving, y'all know what's up. Y'all know. It's hot mess up in here. Um, I stuck my nail on that one. But I opened this up when I was at the store because Catrice doesn't see all their packaging. And I swatched it and I was like, holy fuck. That's like actually really good do you see it i hope you guys can see it they're so light i don't know but i just liked i don't know if you guys can tell on camera but they're like pastel metallics like this is like a green minty pastel this is like a purpley this is like a yellow this is like a pink so i was like this would be really cute to do like um you know like spray loss and something just saying i do have one of the colors on my inner corner it's very nice i haven't worn it like completely on my eyes yet so i don't know um as far as like longevity goes but i can't attest to that but i can attest to the fact that they are very nice very nice indeed okay Next up for eyeshadow is, I am just blown right through this, ain't I? I'm kind of proud of myself, just saying. <laughs> Next up for eyeshadow is the Tarte Chrome Paint in the color Top Yacht. Top Yacht, like, you know, I'm gonna go party on Dre's motherfucking yacht. That's that type of yacht. Anyways, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that was. Um, this is so fucking pretty. These are so nice. If you guys remember when I did I have the color like fire starter or fire or something or another. I did a like cranberry eye look with that uh, around Christmas time or New Year's or something. And it was such a mess. Like it got all over the place. I must have dropped it or something and it like crumbled. I couldn't repress it. And now when I try to swatch it, just chunks come up. It's like fucked up. I don't know. But oh, that's my alarm that I need to go pick bro up in five minutes. So, uh. <laughs> We bets wrap it up. Anyways, I don't know. Mine was fucked up and it was just a piece of shit because we were talking about them at work one day and one of the girls at work was like, oh my God, you don't like those? I was like, no, it's like fucked up and chunky and whatever. And she's like, check this one out. So I checked it out and I was like, oh my God. Yes, it is very nice. However, 
these are $22. Had I not had points, had I not had an employee discount, I would not spend $22 on these because these are the exact same thing as the L'Oreal um, Infallible Shadows. So if you want this, go buy the L'Oreal Infallible Shadow and like sunshine fucking something or another. Those are like something that people used to talk about back in the day here on YouTube. Nobody has talked about them since. And I don't know why, because they're amazing. And they have like a ton of different colors. They've got like 12 or 15 colors. Exact same thing, girl. And they're probably like, oh no, that's Estee Lauder. I was gonna say, they're probably the same formula because I'm pretty sure L'Oreal owns Start, but I think Estee Lauder owns Start. Maybe. I don't know. Anyways, moving right along. Two more things left. First thing is soft clam. No, soft glam. Every time I look at it now, thank you to Robbie and Christy. Because every time I look at this, I think it says soft clam. And it doesn't. It says soft glam. So, um, there has been, like, back and forth about this palette. I fucking really like this palette, okay? Like, a lot of people are like, this is too natural. All it is is a natural palette. It's so basic. Blah, blah, blah. And it's... The thing is, is if it's like this and it's neutral and it's basic and it's usable, people are like, that's too basic, that's too neutral. But then if it's like a palette that has a bunch of color in it, well, that's too colorful. I can't use that every day. I'll probably never use all those colors. What the fuck do you want? Like to me, this is my perfect palette. All these shades are shades that I will use on the daily. All these shades are easy to me. I fucking really like this palette. So... I still fucks with you, Anastasia. I still fucks with you. I down for the soft clam. I really like it. I think the formula is good. It blends out really well. I was just about to say I have it on, but I don't because I had it on earlier and I had to wash it off because my face looked like shit. But I had it on earlier. I've used it for the past like four days. I think it blends really well and it's really good. So I don't know what we're bitching about. All right. So the last thing on the list my poor dogs are like please take us out please i'm almost done y'all <gasps> i'm almost done mama's almost done oh jet oh jet okay my dogs are gonna get stabbed last on the list is this and i know you like can't see it but this is the becca hydra mist hydra mist set and refresh powder this is so fucking weird, first of all. Okay, let me tell you a little story. Let me see if I have time to tell you a little story. Yes, I do. Let me tell you a little story. So I did the planogram for this. I set it up, right? I'm sorry if my camera starts shaking because my dog is going nuts and driving a me nuts, stompy. So anyways, um, I set the planogram up for this. If you don't know I work at Ulta, I'm pretty sure I made that clear throughout this video. Um, I set the planogram for this, and when I seen it, I was like, Hydra Mist? What the fuck is that? And on the box, it like, I don't even know where the box is at this point, but it says something like it's 50% water, it sets like, um, like a setting spray sets, and it's basically a setting spray in powder form. And I was like, what? What the fuck? So naturally, I thought, what the fuck ever? It's probably just a powder, right? And then I opened it, and I seen this that says, keep me closed to keep me cool and I was like what the fuck so I open it up and it's got like a little mesh separator and I like put it on my skin and I was like what the fuck it's so weird you guys just have to go swatch this it is the oddest thing it feels like you're putting water on your skin it's so fucking weird so I take like this right here this little like eco tool sponge I will pick it up and I place it on my skin and this sponge is dry. When you use it, it feels like it's wet. Like it feels like you're using a wet beauty blender to put powder, oh my God, dude. I can't even explain it, you guys. It's so odd, but so good at the same time. Like it literally vanishes your pores. It makes your fucking skin just look so fucking good. If I wouldn't have look like a piece of dick earlier i probably could have showed you guys in the get ready with me how fucking bomb it looked i don't know if you're going to be able to tell now because i just put a bunch of it on my forehead but it fucking makes your skin look so nice it's so weird if you have been with me for a while you know i am the cheapest bitch i am as cheap as they come girl 
super hella cheap and I do not fucks with $40 powders. Like every once in a great while I will drop a dime on a powder because I fucking dry skin. But not only that, I don't bake and do all that stupid shit. So I, I, I really don't fucks with powders, but I'm telling you, I would not have bought this had I not thought it was that good and had I not thought it was that cool. This is very innovative and just really weird, but at the same time, really fucking cool. I cannot believe nobody else is talking about this. I have not heard one fucking person mention this. Not that I haven't been watching, or not that I haven't not been watching a lot of YouTube lately, because I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube, but the people that I do not, or the people that I do watch have not mentioned this. It's so fucking cool and innovative. You guys, if you don't buy it, at least go swatch it. Like, it's so fucking cool, but I'm telling you, once you swatch it, you gonna wanna buy it, because it's so cool, girl. It's so cool. Okay, so that is it. That's it for my haul. I gotta go pick my bro up. Thank you for watching my video. I don't even remember my outro. I don't know what my outro is anymore. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not. Follow me on my social media. All that stuff. Anyways, um, what have you guys been hauling lately? I know it's tax season, girl. I know y'all have been paping up on the makeup stores during tax season. Don't act like you ain't. So, um, I'm gonna go. I gotta go pick bro up. I'm gonna be late. I gotta get the fuck out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Like and subscribe if you have not. Leave me video ideas in the comments below, please. I've got a couple ideas on the back burner, but leave me some of your video ideas. Dab. I don't know why I just dabbed. I just felt like doing this look like a dab. Um, leave me some of your video ideas in the comments and we'll get to them. So where the fuck? I don't know. I, I'll, I'll peep you guys later. Follow me on social media and things and I will catch you guys in my next one. Peace. My dog would stop scratching himself. I know you can't see and see me in the mirror. Hey, please let a bitch. <laughs> I choked on my spit. What have you guys been hurrying lately? <laughs>